What about the drag queens? How, uh, explain how drag queens saved your life. Yeah, so I, I get into the, the nitty gritty in this chapter of a horrific abusive relationship that I was in in my mid to late 20s. And, it, it, you know, I go into great detail about it. It was mentally abusive, emotionally abusive. At times it was physically abusive. Hmm. And then the way that that relationship like that continues is the person has gotten mind control over you a little hmm. bit or I think that this is all my fault and I think... Um, no one would ever want me other than this person. And with this, you know, he became the be all end all horrible, horrible, horrible. When it finally ended for good, um, I remember going to a drag show with one of my friends and there was a dance contest and I and I won. Um, because I'm like so bad, I think, mm -hmm. you know, like there's the world's ugliest dog competition. Yeah, that's right. It's a worthwhile spectacle because of how ugly the dogs mm -hmm. are. That's kind of how I dance. So it was a pity win. Yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, it was more like what, what is, how is, what is her body doing? Yeah. You know? Um, and I just felt, I just looked at the drag queens just being so unapologetically themselves. I also mm -hmm. think drag queens are kind of the living, that, that helped me get through it. I would think back to that when I was going through these horrible times and I lost myself. I don't think that drag queens are a living embodiment of so many things I believe in. Um, what I wrote about a lot in my first book of just like nothing is sacred right. and decorum is highly overrated and we, we should fly in the face of it and self-expression being an, such an important form of at times protest but oftentimes connection. I have been very pro and love drag queens for mm -hmm. so many years and I've talked about it openly on Fox and it's never been a problem until it suddenly became a problem around 2022. Yeah. What, what explains that? Because, um, you know, suddenly drag queens became a big, big deal. Yeah, suddenly they did become a big deal. And I, I actually went back when I was doing research for my book and I searched clips of myself when I talked about drag on Fox. And then I looked I, I corresponded with my Twitter mentions at the same time. And for a while it was nothing or people be mm -hmm. like, ha ha ha, nothing. And then all of a sudden it was you should be fired why do you want to molest kids? Like extreme, like I bet your husband is ashamed of you. Like mm -hmm. really no. extreme stuff. And I think, you know, I, it was around the time when there was the debate over schools and what should be teaching in schools. And mm -hmm. then of course, nothing can ever just stay on the thing. And then right. it became all of a sudden now drag queens are a symbol of the left and that's what happens with this binary thinking. It, it's you stop thinking because once you pick a side, mm -hmm. all the thinking has been done for you. You just go along with whatever their side's saying. And people have knee jerk reactions to, oh, drag queen. Oh, that's a yeah. liberal thing. So that's bad. Drag queen equals groomer. That's bad. Just like how people on the left will hear, oh, Fox News. Therefore, she's bad. Right. It's people aren't actually thinking about these things. I mean, the drag ban in Tennessee it's illegal for there to be a drag performance that could harm children anywhere a child could be. A child could be literally anywhere, you know? And I don't think of all the things I worry about for my child, even if I didn't love drag queens as much as I do, the like, oh, they're going to see a dude on with lipstick somewhere. Like there's a scarier shit out in the world than a man who looks fabulous. Um, yeah. You um, you talk uh, either in that chapter or a related one about how, okay, so you're pro-drag queen and you don't think drag queens are groomers uh, and they're not turning kids gay or anything Many like that. Many of them don't give a shit about your kids either way. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, but then you also talk, you know, in a way that seems sensible about like school uh, laws where um, school districts will not tell parents if their kids are transitioning or, or, or they're being treated differently at school than the parents expect. And you say that's wrong. Totally. Um, and while you're very pro-trans uh, rights and, and even transitioning for certain people, like why is that? I mean, that seems so obviously sensible. Mm -hmm. Why is that, you know, why, why aren't more people in that camp? Because because people th because of the binary thinking because mm -hmm. of the two sides because they think oh these are this is for trans kids this is helping mm -hmm. out trans kids so if you don't support this then you're transphobic and what if the kid is being abused at home for being trans and so on and so forth and what i talk about repeatedly in the book is if 
you feel really emotional about an issue or if an issue is really contentious, the best thing to do is to take that piece out of it for a second and then look at it. Because what you're saying here is that teachers should be not telling parents. They should be keeping secrets about kids from parents. That is that's crazy. That's I, that's that's saying that the state has greater ownership over your kids than you do. That's right. like some truly creepy communist shit. Right. And just like there are already on the conservative side, which right, they're already with the grooming. There already are laws against indecent exposure in front of children. That's already hella illegal. Just like that's already like very very illegal. You get right. in huge trouble for that. Same goes for child abuse, whether the child's being abused for being trans or not. So there already are laws for these things, but the government. It plays on our fears, whether it's the Patriot Act or it's stuff like this. It plays on our fears. And then it gets more power and control over us. And it gets us to think that we're good people for supporting it. And really, we're giving up our own rights.